So one of the things I don't normally talk about um, is what's the what's known as the bad side of lucid dreaming, the bad things or the side effects, right? And like anything with life, you know, there are there's going to be pros and cons. There's going to be bad things and good things. One of the side effects of lucid dreaming, okay, is what's known as false memories. Now, before you start clicking away or watching another video, just just listen to me for a couple of minutes because this will really help you. When you become better and better at lucid dreaming, which hopefully you will, <clears throat> you're going to have sometimes a situation where you'll have a memory of something that you did in a lucid dream, but for some reason you think it's real. Uh, and the better you get at lucid dreaming, the more likely it is that you'll have this, this sort of blurring of the line between being awake and, and dreaming and having a lucid dream. And the more blurred this line becomes, the, the more difficult it is to distinguish between what you did in the past and what you did in a dream in the past, right? So you've really got to make sure that, and there's, there's a very easy way of making sure that you don't blur these lines and that you'll always be able to tell whether you were dreaming or whether you were awake, whether you actually did something, okay? Because you have to be able to tell, otherwise you're going to just be very confused, you know, you might be frustrated, you might be uh, even a little bit scared if you can't really remember what was a dream and what wasn't. So it's important to be aware of. So the easiest way to stop having false memories and to be able to easily see what was a dream, what was real, is the way you keep your dream diary. So most of you probably have a notepad or a journal or something you write in physically, right? And that's great. That's a really good idea and that means you're following the basic steps of how to lucid dream. But a better way is to have a digital dream diary, a digital dream journal. Now what I mean by this is make a document on your computer, okay? And every evening when you're doing a meditation, whatever your, your evening routine, write up the dreams that you've had in your physical diary in your digital diary. And this is a really simple step, but the main reason you want to do this is that you can search through your digital dream diary. So if you ever get confused and you're thinking, was this a dream memory? Was this a real memory? You can look back and you can actually just search instantly on your computer for like a keyword. So say if your dream was about, I don't know, ice skating, right? You can search in your digital dream diary the word ice skating, the keyword ice skating, and it will bring up all the dreams you've had about that particular thing. And you'll be able to say, right, that was the dream. This is what I remember. It was a dream memory. And, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the more advanced you get with this dreaming, the better you become, the more likely this will happen. But don't let that put you off because, you know, it's it's definitely worth it. Sometimes you'll be confused and sometimes you'll remember a dream that you think is real but wasn't, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and the vast majority of the time you will be able to tell the difference and you will obviously know. Um, and I can't explain why you'll know, but you just will. You'll know that certain memories were a dream and certain memories were real. Um, so keep a digital dream diary, search for things that you are not sure about, and keep lucid dreaming.